So what, you, you came out like four months? Yeah, I've been out, so I've been out four months now. Okay. Obviously I've hit the scene, so I'm, I'm doing all these different podcasts and all this, obviously I've built up following. It's my redemption story. Mm. I mean, obviously I did 10 years. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Not just in just got to prison, so I went to Broadmoor. Do you mm. know what I mean? I'm the only guy since Charlie Bronson to be kicked out of Broadmoor. That's <laughs> so the logo, that's, that's the thing, that's, that's the label. Mm. But to me, that's not going to be my legacy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, they told me I was never coming back. Mm. They said to me, I said, you're done. You, you, you're never coming back, bro. But then I had this goal, I had this vision, I had this dream in my head, like, no, like, I've got a story. I've, I, I want to make a difference in the community. I want to make a difference in the fucking world. Do you know what I mean? I, and I don't know what it is. I sat there, meditated, and I got a very enlightened, and I, something really sort of ticked with me. And I felt I want to come out and make a difference. I want to try and inspire people. Do you get what I'm okay. saying? And not only did I did that, I beat the life sentence. I come out. I got the pro, and I'm coming out. I four months of making podcasts left, right, and with the being filmed Amazon Prime movies. And obviously, mm -hmm. I'm making my pro. Obviously, I'm making mm -hmm. my boxing debut March the 27th. Mm -hmm. How did this like film? How did this happen? All through Loom, all through Loom. I rang him up. I was, I just literally escaped from a mental hospital. I was on the run. I was, the run. I was the, you literally did. You literally did. Obviously, there was time we could get out, and there's a way I got out, and I had someone pull up in the car, and I jumped in the car, and I was off. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was a proper scale. I was all over. They was like, hey, he's missing uh, uh, this person. Did they get you back in afterwards? I, I, I went back. I, oh, you I, went I, back. I, I actually went back after two days because this, this was sort of after my changing that as well. You know, because even when you change, like they say, you can't change overnight, can you? You're still right. going to make mistakes, mm -hmm. and, it, and, I, and I knew I made a mistake. So when I was on the run and I, and I was sitting on the beach, and I was just like, in Brighton, I said, like, what have I done? I fucked up. Mm -hmm. I said, in the day, like, I pride myself on being a man. Do you know what I mean? What's a man doing? We take responsibility, we fuck up. So you know what? I don't know. I was, just, I was scared, because I was scared about getting sent back to high secure. That's what I was worried about, like, because this was a medium secure, mm -hmm. and high secure is like your Broadmoors, your Ashworth, they're like the hells. Mm. And that's what I was worried about. But and I think me going back and saying, look, do you know what, I fucked up. Mm. I got punished for it. They, it set me right back. But I, you know, like, they didn't send me to a higher secure. But when I was on the run, that's when I, I, I was on. Yeah, I got quickly bought this Android phone. I was asking people, how do you work this phone? Technology is fucking changed. Bro. Like, what the fuck is this? What's an app? <laughs> and uh, I just want to see YouTube. I heard about YouTube and you watch videos. I remember that from like 2010. And I was watching Liam stuff on YouTube and all that, and I just. Something because sometimes the universe like has a way of working out. Like, if I didn't escape that time, I wouldn't have met Liam. I don't want to bring him for mental sport and be like, Yo, bro, I've got a story. And I thought he thought he was gonna be a madman, but he thought I was his mate ringing and pranking him. And he was like, Fuck off, Harry. And I was like, No, generally, mate, you know, this, this, this is me. And we stayed in touch ever since, built a close relationship. And that's when we're making this film. And a lot of people with big platforms that I'm meeting, amazing, I'm really getting behind support. Because mm. I ain't sitting on the, I ain't sitting on the James English podcast, but I'm winging it, bro. Mm. I, I am literally winging it. But, but what I just try and live by now, if, I'm, if something feels right, yeah. then, then I'm going to stand behind that and I'm going to commit yeah. to it. Yeah. And that's why, you know, that's why I was having a bit of a dig at Sean and right earlier, because I don't believe in it. I said, what, what are you doing here, Kurt, and what everyone doing? And like, they're saying that you're raising money mm. to help you. Like, I stand behind that. I think it's true. I'm out here trying to make a positive difference because, you know, especially now, like, we're just surrounded by negative and so many like bad influences and that, and mm. like, trying to help some of these street kids. Some of them are good kids now, there. But because the way they come up and that, and their, their mind is full of that, that anti-social education, and I get it. What I side were you on when you were a kid? Huh? What side were you on when you were a kid? Was that you out there, out the door? A hundred percent. I was, I was fully active. Like I come up in care homes and shit. Do you know what I mean? This is the early nineties as well. So yeah. you know, care homes in the early nineties and that. It's not the. Do you know what I mean? It was never going to be the best. I was always a small, frail boy. Do you know what I mean? Like boys would be boys. Boys going to pick on boys, isn't it? Yeah. So I was always like, I got all timid and all that. And at school, I had a difficult time. I can't spell and I couldn't. And my tension, but no, no, I said it many times, and a lot of people agree. I think the school system's outdated anyway. I think you know, like, you know, like Einstein proves that he went to public, went to a normal school. People thought he was antisocial. He went to a school where he was able to specialise in something he wanted to do, mm. and, and then he won a Nobel fucking prize. Uh, at school, geography, this, the science. You know, I spoke with George R. Souls. Remember, was, yeah, I was speaking yeah, with George R. Souls, and uh, Liam like this one. He was like. Have you ever seen a Bunsen burner since you come out of school? <laughs> you I said that about know. brackets. You know when you learn about brackets in school, you know. Like, well, algebra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Algebra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. algebra. algebra. Yeah, I can't even spell algebra. That, they did, my school did amazing. I can't even fucking spell algebra. You ever, you ever thought of going into schools? I wonder. Yeah, I, I'm working with an organisation down my way. Obviously, I'm still going through checks and things like that. But I really want my size called No Knives. So again, it's sport and knives. And it's like we go into schools and giving out talks and that. Because, and that's why I'm like, I'm so behind this because I just want to inspire a young generation, not boys, I mean girls as well, I want to try and inspire like 
Because so many people out there want to say, like, you can't do it. I bet when Kurt, when you're saying you're trying to get his gym and you're having hurdles and people making it harder and harder, a lot of people say, when they feel like they can't do something, they want to tell you can't do it. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, fuck that, I'm going after the impossible and people can be able to sort of say, well, hold on a second, now, that crazy dude, Ben Hatchett, you know what I mean? He proved a lot of people wrong and that's why that's I have a tone on me. I had a guy with vision, I was lifed off in a high secure hospital, in a high secure ward, in segregation mm. for nine months. Mm. I was sitting there nine months segregation and I, that's when it all comes to me about, oh, I've got this goal, I've got the vision. And I, they laughed at me, they told me this, but I stayed true and I had that vision. Tell me about that. that, that sounds interesting, when you were just building that goal, thinking about that goal, how'd that happen? Mate, it's self-taught, it's like, it's, you know, I said earlier, like, I said Jack earlier, like, it, 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 when I all started learning about the law of attraction, it all just started coming to me, I just thought, if we've got a piano over here and we've got a piano here, if I hit the, the, the C note on this piano, mm. that string on that piano scene like will, will vibrate as well. Mm. Do you get it? Because mm. it's in tune with the same thing, it's like the same frequency, it's like a radio. You don't want to keep in tuning myself in with the bullshit, mm. or do I want to try and tune myself in a bit of smooth FM now? Do you know what I mean? Do I want to try and like, you know, say it positive? And that's, that's all it is ever since. And I've just tried staying focused and staying positive, like, I'm winging it. Like, I'm literally winging it, bro, but I've got faith in the universe and I've got faith in with what I'm doing and, and you know, when I'm getting the messages and that because I get a lot of fucking messages on social medias and all that that people behind I'm spying, you know, I've got had a night all the messages are amazing, they are, but there, there was one, a night in your voice that I've had it really tough and all that like, and he's walked into a boxing gym and like, no, and he messaged me, he sent me a photo of him in a boxing gym he's up in, I think Manchester or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. and I in your and he just wants to say thank you and he would have done that if you didn't see the podcast do you, do you get yeah, what I'm sort yeah, of yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, you're impacting people Yeah, and that, that's all I'm trying to do, I just want to show people, man, like, do you know what I mean, like Go, I'm just trying to. Sh if you save one life, which you've done, yeah, you've done your job. That's it. I, you know, it's my redemption. It's my redemption. So, and that's why we're here. And I say to Daryl, Jack, and all the boys, if we save one life, one kid from that crime out there, that knife crime, because they get stabbed up and they die. Yeah. There's no going back. We've got a, a kid here now. We're trying to put on a kickstart program called Josh. He, he was involved in different bits and pieces. And I spoke to him yesterday. I said it's either one or the other. He's good. He's he's good at what he does here. He helps with the kids. Kids love him. And I explained to him yesterday, it's one way or no way. Yeah. We can't have you here if you want to be in that. We can only have you here if you want to be with us. Yeah. Family. You've got to commit. That's yeah. it. You've got, to commit. you've got to commit. You've got to make that choice like you have and go down that road. Exactly. It ain't easy and you will lose people along the way. Do you know what I mean? And that's the thing. Like, it, will cause, it will take sacrifice. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That's what I've had to learn. The hard one. I've lost very close ones. Mm. But again, even like my old sort of anti-social peers, they all supporting me and that's what I'm doing. And I think, and that, that's what it's about. It's about just trying. Sit, if we save one, if we just try and inspire a difference, but we can only yeah. do it when people support. Like you're saying, like exactly, you, like you said, just because it felt right, I just said I'll do it, and it's and I'm having fun. It's yeah. working. Yeah, just like felt good. Gonna do it. Yeah, no, that's good. And, it's the ripple effect that you have, are you helping it, they're helping it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's the constant change. Change helps change, isn't it? Yeah. So it just keeps going on. Because the kids today, they've, they've got it tough actually, haven't they? I, I know this knife crime thing and gang culture is a, a part and parcel of them now. We never had that when we were young. We had clubs, snooker tables, you could go in a place. Now they've got nothing. Mm -hmm. You see them standing on street corners, smoking their weed. You can get out and talk to them so you're blue in the face. They'll still be there tomorrow smoking their weed again. Yeah. There's nothing to draw There's them There's nothing in. to motivate them. There's nothing to take them on that journey. Mm. And the council or the government do not give a monkey's who what they're doing. No. They quite encourage them to commit crime and by the, the, the cuts. Yeah. Even the fire brigade, the police, everyone's been cut. Why? There's money there. There's got to be money there. There's money in this country. Help the youth. They're our future. Yeah. These kids in 50 years are going to be running this country. You know, th there's no motivation for them because they can't see no light at the end of that tunnel. Absolutely. So they turn to crime and then they turn to a gang for protection, which they don't really need because if you're not in it, you don't need protecting. Mm -hmm. so where do you think so, it lies? You, we, you were talking earlier about education. That's big for me, education. Do you think more needs to be done to educate? I think, like I said, the Einstein. I think it's the best example. Mm. If Einstein, you know, he was at a public school, they said he was antisocial. When I think genius, Einstein's head just pops into my head. He just, yeah. But he wasn't, do you know what I mean? He, 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 I went to some school, I think it was like a Swedish professor, and he took the school and it was like, <clears throat> and he was abling these, like, these kids and that, to let them just focus on what they wanted to do. Mm. What the word is, which I learned, a powerful word is inclination. Mm. What makes you tick? 
to be able to channel your energy and what makes do you know what I mean? And it is it is down to the government. It is and that's why I think the school system is mm. fucking outdated. It's been going, do you know what I mean? Like they need to come up with things like and that's why gyms like this are amazing. I I said it. I'm, I'm only doing boxing because it makes me to, it's something I want. Do you know what I mean? I want yeah. to do. Good like it, it, yeah, yeah, if, if it was art and fucking football, if it was whatever it'd be doing, I'd be doing it to the extreme as well, bro, to, to, to deliver this message. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, you know. And I think that's that's what it lies. You know, kids really got to try and figure out. It is difficult when you're younger trying to figure out what it is you mm. want, especially around surrounding influences. That's why I'm trying to do this to sort of like hope everyone to see. You know, I might say something that will get their attention, thinking, oh, what does that word mean? Or what is world traction? What does inclination mean? Do you know what I mean? Well, what yeah. I wonder what boxing should be like. Or like, oh fuck it, if you could do that, I might go to an art project. I might go to dance. Yeah. Do you get what I'm sort yeah, of saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, all I want to do is give them the seed and let them. Try and let it grow. Let it yeah. grow, and but the, the, you're right. The government and that, the communities need to do more. They do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they don't do nothing. The school systems is, is, is fucking is so outdated, man. And they, they need just sort of like in the whole generation it is with things and that now. You know, they really need to sort of. They real. They need real life experience. There's no yeah. point sitting behind a desk if they're not getting the experience. Yeah. Out of it. Because like he said, like Kirk said, there's so many things going on out in the world that sitting behind the table just isn't isn't doing anything for. No. Whereas like you said, if you're getting you're getting them motivated, you're you're getting them to figure out what they want to do, what they like, why not get them out there, get them doing it. Exactly.